Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to write the custom attribute in the MS test framework. So when we write the test using the MS test framework, the commonly used attribute are test class and test method. Using these two attribute, MS test framework will know that which method to invoke. So this arises the question that why we need to write the custom attribute. Well, there are many answers to that question. In my case, I want to create a custom attribute because I want to fetch the runtime information about the test execution. So let us discuss about the existing attribute what we have. So we have a test class attribute. The name is test class attribute and it inherits from the attribute class. Similarly, we have a test method. The name of the class is test method attribute and it also inherits from the attribute. Now, if you look at this class, there is a method called execute. This is the core method whose responsibility is to execute the test method. And as you can see here, this method takes the parameter as test method, which is of type I test method. This I test method is an interface. This interface will hold the information about the runtime execution of a test method. You can see here we can get the test name, test class name, as well as the what is the outcome of the test method execution. So this will become more clear when we start with the coding part. So first of all, I'm going to create a new directory in our project. Inside this directory, I'm going to add a class. And I'm going to make this class as public. So these are the steps which I'm going to follow in order to create the custom attribute. First, create a class that is going to inherit from the test method attribute class. Then override the execute method to provide the custom implementation. And then use this custom attribute with all the test method. So first of all, I'm going to inherit from the test method attribute class. And then override the implementation of execute method. So this is the place where we are going to provide the implementation. So as I mentioned earlier, during the runtime, this information will be automatically injected by the MS test framework. So let me create a variable where I'm going to capture the result. And then I'm going to return the result. So base.execute is going to invoke the execute method, which is in super class that is test method attribute class. And we are going to store that result in a variable called result and then return it. So basically we need to use the combination of the test method variable as well as the result variable to extract the runtime execution information. So let me create a test class. I'm going to make this class as public. And I'm going to use the test class attribute with this class. Inside this test class, I'm going to create two test method. So with this method, I will use our custom attribute instead of the existing attribute that is test method. So for the second test method, I'm going to fail it intentionally. And for that, I will use the assert class. So assert dot fail and specify the message. So let me put the debug point in our custom attribute class and run this two method in a debug mode. So using the test method variable, I can fetch the information about the test method. So this is the class name. And this is the method name. Similarly, using the result, I can fetch the outcome of the execution. So if you look at the return type of the execute method, it is going to return as the array of type test result. 
so here i will use result dot first or default dot outcome so this is the outcome of the first test now let me continue with the execution so test method dot test class name and similarly the method name and now using the result variable let me see what is the outcome of the execution so result dot first or default dot outcome which is failed and we can get the exception message also so this is the reason behind the failure so as you can see here we have created a custom attribute which is not only executing the test but also giving us the runtime information about it now you can use this information however you want so this is how you can create your custom attribute in ms test framework